And he's uh, got a quite a good goal scoring record against Aldershot Town. There's a bit of a loose pass from uh, Maidenhead and shots have won it. Candy's got the ball on the edge of the area. He opens up his feet for a shot. It's a lovely shot and it's really well saved down low to his left by Tay Ashby Hammond. And uh, Candy went for the same corner that he found on Saturday. A great start from uh, the shots corner to the shots now. Yeah, this season, the shots have scored in every game. They've got a corner now taken on the left side by Edsa. In it comes, punched away by Hammond. It'll only go as far as Edsa. Back in comes the ball and it's flicked on over the bar, I think, by Maidenhead. Head. But no, says the referee. Um, it's a goal kick. Had to check with the referee which one it was. A lot of big, big bodies in the area. In comes the cross. And uh, it's headed away only as far as, uh, I think it was Sean Donnellan. Or, yeah, it was Sean Donnellan. And his shot comes in and goes just, um, well, it's always skidding further wide, wasn't it, really? But uh, always worth pulling the trigger. You never know what sort of deflection you're going to get, do you? Yeah. There's still a bit of moisture in that pitch and there's still players slipping. It hasn't changed from the last three games. Uh, Aldershot get the ball in, edge of the box. Touch back by Whittingham. Shot comes in. I think it's uh, from... Uh, Toby Edsa, and uh, it's always going high and wide, Kins. But uh, seven minutes gone, a couple of efforts on goal already for shots and one for Maidenhead. Yeah. And I think only Woking's late equaliser against Yeovil on Saturday uh, kept them off the bottom of the table. Here's Edsa with the free kick, and uh, it lands at the feet of Cody Lyons Foster. It's being held up now in the area, and Maidenhead try and clear. It only finds Fondop, whose shot is deflected behind for another corner. You shouldn't have asked the Dover score. It's now 2-1 to Woking. But here's Chike Candy on the left-hand side of the penalty area. He's going into the penalty area now. Pulls the ball back. Shot comes in from Toby Edser and it just goes wide. And again, it's a slight deflection that puts it there. And it literally rolled inches wide of the post as the Shots TV live listeners, uh, viewers, sorry, are now seeing on their TV screens. This comes agonisingly close from Edser. Fowler down the line. The header will be won by Maidenhead, but only as far as Whittingham. And now Whittingham looks for Harry Paniatu on the right-hand side. But uh, Twamazi wins it back. Poor clearance from him, though. And Whittingham sends it back in. And, and it, I think it literally caught the uh, stanchion just behind the goal there. And a great effort um, off balance from, from Alfie Whittingham. Good, and good play from... Um Toby, but uh, let's see the free kick. Yeah, in it comes from Edsa, and it's flicked on by uh, Barrett, of all people. Goes behind for a corner to Aldershot, which will be taken over on the far side at the East Bank end. And when I say the far side these days, <laughs> online listeners, I mean the North Stand side. A little bit of breeze out there, but uh, nothing untoward as uh, Maidenhead line up for another Barrett throw. And it's headed on and then cleared. By Aldershot up towards halfway, but only as far as the Maidenhead United skipper, Alan Massey. Massey lifts a long ball forward, and uh, Coley's picked it up. Shot comes in, and he shoots wide. He just managed to win the ball between Lyons Foster and uh, Fowler there, and uh, he got his shot away quickly. Leaves Whittingham trailing, and then uh, Aldershot win it. And I wondered if we'd see a free kick, but nothing given. Reese down the line, flicked on by one Aldershot Town player. Paniatu, I don't think, can keep it in play. He tries very hard to. Good battle between him and uh, uh, Parry and uh, ends up with a little bit of uh, handbags over on the far side. Players from both sides and both benches getting involved. I can see Blissett very heavy-handed in there. And uh, we just need this one to calm down a little bit. The referee was right there. Um, he's reaching for a card already and it's a red. And there we go. His eighth red card in eight matches. Uh, I don't even have a clue who he's shown it to. Alex, can you tell? No, I can't. Um, hopefully it's not a Aldershot Town player. I'm really not sure. Uh, Apologise to our listeners, but our Shots TV live viewers are probably as bemused as I am about who has actually been sent off here. It might even might even be someone from the bench Any the wiser? Um, I really don't know. I've just seen Fondop and, and Edsa wander away, but they were only going to get drink. The referee hasn't finished with his notepad yet. And, uh, you know, again, you know, they're competing well for the ball. 
sometimes it happens in football. You end up almost sitting on the ball and then you're a kick bag, aren't you? But uh, So it's a yellow card for Manny Parry. And we still can't tell who's been sent off. It looks like Mike's been sent off. Mike Fonda. Yeah. He's in the tunnel now. He's not... Uh, right. Got like you. Back in. Good spot from Alex Finney. I really don't know how the referee can call that, but uh, he's booked Parry and uh, he's sent off Mike Fondop on his home debut for the shots. So Aldershot uh, are holding uh, free scoring, high flying Maidenhead United uh, to a goalless draw here at the moment, Tim, but they've got a tricky last 12 minutes or so ahead. It's nil nil. That's our radio listeners updated. For our online listeners, Aldershot have just cleared the ball from within their own half, and it's a good ball. Finds uh, Harry Paniyatu on the left side. He's attacking to the edge of the penalty area now, shreds the ball across. It's easily uh, cut out by... Uh, oh, Whittingham's got it. It's a good shot, fisted away, only as far as Paniyatu, who follows up with a shot that's wide. And uh, great effort there from Alfie Whittingham, uh, getting on to uh, Ince's uh, clearance. Uh, a word from you on that, uh, Alex Finney. We yeah. are now into added time at the end of added time. And uh, a long ball forward will bounce past everybody. And uh, Aldershot try very hard uh, through uh, Hungbo to keep it in play. It should be a goal kick to Maidenhead. It won't happen because referee Daniel Middleson has blown the final whistle. And we end the evening without any goals. The points are shared. Are you in with a shop? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shop.